Hello there, X6 o'clock GMT, and you're listening to the Star Breakfast News with me, Obet Ken Gaglo. Coming up this morning, lives of MPs and staff of parliament in danger as fire tender breaks down. Job 600 remains inaccessible to fire turntable engineer. Also, former President John Dramani Mahama pledges to complete abandoned projects, including Agenda 111, and later, Pediatric Society of Ghana re-echoes need for nurseries in workplaces following concern over reports revealing nearly half of all children below five months not being breastfed exclusively. So we are looking at the workplace. How do we create a breastfeeding room? How do we create a nursery at the workplaces, in the classrooms where the teachers are? We have details of these and many other stories coming up shortly. Do stay with us. Grateful for joining us this morning. Remember, we are starting the bulletin from the House of Parliament. Now, should there be any fire outbreak in the House of the Legislature, the lives of lawmakers and staff of the second arm of government will be in serious danger. The only fire engine stationed in Parliament has been out of service for months now. The fire timetable engines of the Ghana Fire Service capable of reaching high-rise buildings cannot assess the 12-story job 600 office complex as a result of the height of the entrance. Greater Accra Fire Commander ACFO1 Roberta Agri Gansen has been providing answers to correspondent Ibrahim Al Hassan, who has been tracking the whereabouts of the Parliament fire tender and the fire safety measures in the legislature. How long? will it take for the sick fire tender to return here to be on standby to protect the lives of parliamentarians workers of parliament and everybody who comes to parliament should we experience another fire outbreak that's of a higher magnitude than what was witnessed in july 2017. okay i request for information about the lingering questions from my mind. One has got to do with the fire engine that is missing completely in Parliament and then also the entrance to Job 600, which is quite shorter than the average height of a tent table uh, that is used by the National Fire Service. Uh, well, when I went to the fire service post here in Parliament, uh, the officers there, including the commander, directed me to the regional fire command. fire command. So on we go to the Greater Accra Regional Fire Command for answers. I wish me luck. Just behind me is the fire engine that services the Parliament of Ghana. And as you can see, the head is tilted, signaling that there is some works being done. Of course, as we were told earlier, this engine was faulty and so we had to come for servicing. Of course, the head is tilted. This is at the Greater Accra Regional uh, Fire Service Command, uh, basically. So I'll engage the regional fire officer uh, and then get to understand exactly what has been done. Uh, we can see that there's some work being done. Just tell us exactly what's happening. The parliament vehicle was brought in. We worked on it, it went, and other faults came up. So it was brought back. Our men have worked on it, but hearing an unusual sound, we preferred coming, bringing in um, some specialized people. Ibrahim Al Hassan will be bringing you details of that happening in Parliament. But away from that, flag bearer of the opposition National Democratic Congress, John Dramani Mahama has reiterated his commitment to complete abandoned projects, including the ongoing Agenda 111 project initiated by the Kufuado government. He pointed out that, with barely four months remaining until the December 7 polls, the current government cannot complete these projects. The former president, who is on a four-day campaign tour of the Upper East region, made these remarks during an engagement with chiefs and religious leaders in Fimbu C in the Bilsa South constituency. We'll continue the electrification projects and um, as I've assured um, the whole country that we're going to continue the abandoned projects. 
over the years when governments leave, subsequent governments do not continue the projects that previous governments were doing because they think that if you continue it, the credit will go to the previous government and not to you. We don't have that disposition. Taxpayers' money, Ghanaian taxpayers' money has gone into those projects that have not been finished, but Ghanaians are not getting the benefits because the projects have not been done. And so when we come, the projects we're doing, the e-blocks that were abandoned by this government will continue them. The hospitals we're doing that have been abandoned will continue them. The projects from Kofor's time, from Rawlings time, any projects that have not been finished will continue them. We're doing an inventory of them as I speak so that, so that every year's budget will make provision for continuing uh, these ongoing and abandoned projects. Even the uncompleted projects that this government will leave, we will continue. The Agenda 111 hospitals, they've started so many of them all over the place. They won't finish most of them. The majority, they won't finish. The responsibility is going to fall on us to continue and finish those projects. And so we'll continue them. We're not going to abandon, abandon them. Now, still in the camp of the National Democratic Congress, Professor Jainano Pokwajim and the running mates of the NDC says the party's 24-hour economy policy will address some of the economic challenges bedeviling the economy and provide jobs for the youth. She spoke while addressing members of the NDC professional forums at the University of Cape Coast. We apologize for that um, wrong and bad sound. But let move, let's move on to another story. As the Pediatric Society of Ghana has re-echoed the need for nurseries and breastfeeding areas in workplaces, it follows concern over reports revealing nearly half of all children below five months are not being breastfed exclusively. According to the 2022 Ghana Demographic and Health Survey, 47.4% of children aged 0 to 5 months in Ghana are not being exclusively breastfed. This number has stagnated over the past two decades despite the recommendation by the World Health Organization that children should initiate breastfeeding within the first hour of birth and be exclusively breastfed for the first six months of life. The reports further disclose that in three regions, that is the Greater Accra, I have for an eastern regions, more than half of the children did not start breastfeeding within the first hour of life. Speaking to Star News, Vice President of the Pediatric Society of Ghana, Dr. Emmanuel Pons, says there is a need to accommodate the modern women to address the challenge. Support at the workplace for our women. Currently, the maternity leave, paid maternity leave for a woman who gives birth to a child is three months. Meanwhile, there has been a clear and strong recommendation for exclusive breastfeeding up to six months. It has been a challenge, and we are looking at how best can we support, especially the working woman, to be able to perform or do this exclusive breastfeeding that most of them want to. So we are looking at the workplace. How do we create a breastfeeding room? How do we create a nursery at the workplaces, in the classrooms where the teachers are? Wherever we are, there must be a support system, especially at the workplace, for this week. Now, MPP parliamentary candidate for Kwon Katamansu William Ofosu Asante has reassured the, that the government, through the District Road Infrastructure Program, DRIP, will ensure that poor road infrastructure in the Kwon Katamansu constituency will be fixed before the impending December elections. Speaking at the sidelines of the third graduation ceremony of the Christian International School over the weekend on the theme, Understanding the Current World Through Quality Education, William Asante noted that the DRIP program will be devoid of political expediency. We in the MPP, we are doing so well for the constituents. If these graders come in tomorrow, so much work will be done. Would we also say that we have been neglected or that the MPP has neglected to cut us because they don't go for it? Certainly not. Look at the distribution, the allocation list. Every constituency, whether or not you vote for, you voted for this administration. Nanado Dankwe Kufuado, His Excellency, and Dr. Baumia have ensured that everybody gets what is due there, regardless of your political inclination. And this is what the good people of Ghana should know, separates the MPP from the NDC. I don't like doing too hard, much hard politics, but if we are to stop to facts, speak to issues, then the MPP means well. 
Were we not in this town when the NDC MPP bought over 300 ambulances for every constituency? Have we credited them enough? Why? Is it not the same government confess? Show me the record of the NDC. I understand. No, I, I am not in a place to make a commitment on the exact date. But you do know that the machines are already in. And they will come in right when things are done according to the necessary protocol. And they will come to the assembly. You know that that's a beautiful thing. The MPP is not seeking to score too much political points today. That's the difference between us. We think about the people. So we we'll, do everything for them. So will, will you, the great the great aspect you are talking about, will we see it before elections? So yes, we'll definitely see it before election. But it's not for electoral gains or election gains. It is for the good people of Ghana. For everybody to and this is where I wrap up the breakfast news with me, Obed King Gaglo. Have a blessed day.